Do you and I both know how many of these have we sat through where we saw the little Ukrainian ribbon or we saw the, the pink ribbon mm -hmm. or we saw the black ribbon for me too? Mm -hmm. They couldn't muster one, right? Like where was the massive outpouring of support and speeches for what's happened to Israelis and to the eight Americans who are still being held? Nothing. It was shocking to me, you know, with me too. Remember all those actresses dressed up in black that year? And last year, the sort of chic cause was uh, refugees. And a lot of people wore blue ribbons. Right. Just world refugees, no matter the political strife, right. what have you. Right. Just in general. Just in general, we're refugees, sad. we're pro them. Okay. <laughs> Israel, there was a great report in the Ankler in the weeks and months leading up to the Globes, which is already kind of on life support in terms of cultural relevancy, were these actors and actresses going to wear yellow ribbons in support of Israel or in support of the hostages? And this was a major crisis, a major crisis. The debate. The debate. And what you saw last night was nothing. Right. Nothing. You know, think about like Meryl Streep, you know, Remember, I forget whether it was before or after Trump was elected, but she got up and she gave this huge speech about yep. bullies. Yep. And she was applauded like the second coming. Not a word last night, not a word. It just, it, it, it tells you everything. I, I feel like most of them, I, maybe I'm just being too optimistic in the face of all the anti-Semitism we've seen, mm. but I feel like most of them are probably pro-Israel, more pro-Israel than they are pro, pro you know, Hamas. Mm -hmm. But they're fucking cowards, excuse me. But they are just cowards. They're afraid. They don't want the shit storm coming down on them that rained down on one of the Kardashians, Kylie, when she tried to sweet, tweet out support for Israel. Right. Even before Israel started its retalia retaliation campaign. Right. She, she was too afraid to leave it up. Right. And these Hollywood people are totally spineless. So they were afraid to take a, a, a stance, unless it's it, publicly, it's gonna have to be something like what Taylor Swift did, which is to raise money for the Palestinians, not not the Israelis. Yeah, I know, it's so strange. You know, one of the biggest um, films that's nominated and will be an Oscar contender as well is called Zone of Interest. I don't know if you've heard of it. Is this the one about the, it's about the Holocaust? Yes, yeah. it's loosely based on a Martin Amos novel, and it's about a chief SS officer who lives with his family right next door to a concentration camp. So it's sort of the banality of evil. And this is an industry that loves to tell the story of the Holocaust in World War II over and over and over again as a kind of never again thing. And there is value in that. But you also have to ask, where is the moral and ethical integrity when we're seeing a second Holocaust and nobody will stand up in the moment? Mm -hmm. This is a group of people who signed an open letter in support of Roman Polanski. Oh my God, you're right. I forgot about that. But this is too much of a third rail. It's 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 one of those moments in the culture where you feel a bit, I feel very queasy. They'll exploit the pain and the history of Jewish people like that for a dime to make And money. awards. Right, and awards. But when push comes to shove and Jews are actually being killed and being treated like third-class citizens here in America, after their people were murdered, their babies were murdered, they can't muster the courage to wear a freaking ribbon. I, it's disgusting. That's why nobody wants to watch these shows. They know these are terrible people, Maureen. It's not just that they're, whatever, they're actors, they're actors, maybe you don't care. They're not good people. Well, here's a documentary they might want to consider for consideration next year. How about the 47 minute long piece of footage put together by the Israeli military? Oh, wow that details what went on that day. And it was taken from body cam footage, from the terrorists, from first responders, iPhone footage, from survivors and people who did not make it. And I'll tell you that piece of film is an incredibly well done story front to back. It starts by putting you the viewer in the driver's seat of somebody's just average car on a Saturday morning, driving down a highway and before they can even realize what they're seeing is a convoy of terrorists in front of them, bullets start smashing through. Mm. And you go through the entire day, and this tells a narrative in a way that leaves no question what went on, who is in the right, who is in the wrong. Mm -hmm. And this is a film, I think, that should be required viewing for anybody who wants to weigh in. 
and talk about what's going on in Gaza instead. That's why they won't. They won't nominate it and they won't show it. Last year, they they let Vladimir Zelensky appear. Great point. <laughs> At the Golden Globe. Can you imagine if Bibi Netanyahu? They would never well, invite Bibi's him. Well, not in SAG, right? Oh, Isn't right. Zelensky a former comic well, actor? Is. <laughs> no, they would never. I mean, honestly, like far cry from that. They couldn't even muster the ribbon. So it's disgusting and we know who they are. The Megyn Kelly Show is supported by Grand Canyon University. Founded in 1949, GCU is a private Christian university that is dedicated to delivering an affordable and transformative higher ed. Their vibrant campus is located in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. And according to Niche.com, it's ranked a top 25 best campus in the country. As of June 2023, GCU offers 330 academic programs, with over 270 of them online, allowing you the freedom to earn your degree on your time from wherever you are. At GCU, your degree, whether it's a bachelor's, master's, or doctorate, integrates the free market system and a welcoming Christian worldview. Learn more about GCU's programs, competitive tuition rates, and scholarship offers from your own university counselor. They are part of the supportive graduation team that's gonna take a personalized approach to helping you achieve your academic goals, walking alongside you every step of the way. Find your purpose at Grand Canyon University. Private, Christian, affordable. For more information or to enroll, visit gcu.edu. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.